Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna introduce you to my MR Mark II robot. Uh, I have actually made this robot a few years ago, but I didn't have much time to work on it during my university years. So I told myself now when I have finally some free time, why not make a video about it? So let's get to it. This is the robot right here. Uh, as you can see, it's a 4-axis robot, which uses a uh, gripper as an end effector. Each axis of the robot, including the gripper, is powered by a RC servo motor. Uh, the first servo motor is hidden in here, in the base of the robot, which is also an axis one. Then there is the axis number two, right here. This one is uh, powered by actually two servo motors. Uh, these have to be made of metal because uh, the whole arm itself is pretty heavy and the servo motors need to be able to produce uh, enough torque to hold the arm and to move it. Uh, and you also want them to spin in the same direction when they're opposite each other. So for that uh, you have to um, reverse one of the servos and you can do that by unscrewing this cover on the servo and switching the black and the red wire and then you you will be able to control both servos with the same signal and they will spin both in the same direction then there is uh, the axis number three which is right here the uh, servo motor of this axis is hidden inside here we can see the uh, wire sticking out then there is the axis number 4 with the servo motor of the axis 4 right here. And then there is the last servo motor which is right here in the gripper. It is a standard SG90 cheap servo you can get from AliExpress. Also the servos of axis 4, axis 3 and axis 1 are uh, MG995 cheap servos you can also get from AliExpress. And uh, these uh, two servos on the axis number two are not so cheap because they are made of metal and I think I got them for like 30 bucks each. You can, uh, I'm gonna zoom on the servo, you can see what type it is. So yeah, that's basically almost everything I wanted to show you. The last thing I wanted to show you on this robot is the uh, gripper mechanism. Let me just take off this cover, so you can see it right here. Uh, here is the blue servo uh, with the uh, white servo arm. Then there are uh, two black arms which are connected to the jaws. And when the servo spins in the one direction, the gripper closes. And when it spins in the other direction, the gripper opens. So that's about the robot. Another thing I wanted to show you was this control box for the robot. Um, it looks like this. Uh, it has a door which you can open and also a lock with this little ledge right here. Uh, you can lock the door with uh, Allen key or you can just print a, your own key with uh, the same shape as it is right here. On the left side of the box there is a power plug for a barrel, barrel connector and a master switch. Uh, the box is powered by a adapter uh, which supplies 5 volts and up to 6 amperes. Inside of the box there is a, a power terminal, a servo terminal and the Arduino terminal with Arduino Nano on it. <coughs> Uh, the power terminal supplies voltage for the Arduino terminal and the servo terminal. Uh, there are servo control uh, wires going from the Arduino terminal uh, to the servo terminal. And uh, there, there are also uh, the servo wires right here going from the servo terminal to the actual servo pins outside of the box on the left side right here. So that's for the box. Now I'm gonna walk you through the programming of the robot. The program itself is pretty short. I tried to make it as simple as possible for you guys to control the robot. 
So um, as you can see at the start I uh, defined uh, home positions for each axis right here. Um, after that I defined a servo axis and also the gripper. Then we can move to the void loop. Here I assigned an Arduino pin to each of the servo axis and to the gripper. And at the end of the void setup I'm telling the robot to move each axis to its home position and to open the gripper. Uh, I'll get to the uh, functions later. Uh, here is the basically the ma main program where, where you uh, write the move instructions for the robot. Uh, as you can see right here I prepared this uh, short uh, demo program. I'm gonna show you that later. But now I want to explain the uh, functions uh, you can control the robot with. So the uh, first function is a move axis function. You can call it by writing move axis and uh, then you write the number of the axis from 1 to 4. So let's say I want to move axis 1, so then I write number 1. Uh, then uh, brackets and uh, in the brackets the function has three parameters which is start position then the second parameter is end position and the third parameter is speed so this is how you uh, call the move axis function with the parameters uh, for example let's say that I want to move the axis number one um, and it is the first uh, move instruction in the program you're moving the axis number one for the first time so uh, the start position has to be the home position of the robot so uh, I'm gonna delete this uh, let's say uh, you want uh, to move the axis number one from the home position so I'm gonna copy the home position of axis number one that's gonna be our start position and we want to move the axis number one let's say 280 degrees so we write 180 and we want to move the axis at the speed of 70 percent so we write 70 so basically this is the whole move instruction for the axis number one and if I upload the program then the robot will move uh, from the move the axis one from the home position to 180 degrees at the speed of 70 percent. Okay so that's for the move, instru move instruction. Now let's say uh, we want to close the gripper after, after the uh, robot moves to the move the axis one to 180 degrees. So um, you call the uh, gripper function by writing set gripper, then break it, and um, this function only has one parameter, which is uh, open or close, in, and it's a string, so you can write open if you want to open the gripper and or you can write close if you want to close the gripper so if I write close then the gripper will close so if I upload it right now then the robot will move uh, the axis one to the uh, position of 180 degrees and then it will close the gripper so yeah basically it's uh, this simple this is how you uh, write the move instructions and now I'm gonna show you this uh, demo program which I made for the robot and show you how the robot moves. But uh, first I'm gonna explain you uh, what the robot will do. So um, at first it will move from the home position. Um, it will move each axis to uh, the set position so it will move the axis 1 to 140 degrees uh, axis 4 to the 180 degrees and so on and so on after it moves uh, all the axis to these positions it will uh, wait for one second and then it will close the gripper wait another second and move to the uh, other position 
then it will move another second, then the gripper will open, then the robot will move, uh, will wait for uh, another second and it will move, move back to the home position. So yeah, basically that's the whole program and now I'm gonna show you how the robot moves. Alright guys, this is how the robot works. If you liked the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions regarding the robot, please um, feel free to leave a comment. And thank you for watching.